In the days of Ahasuerus, king of Persia, the Jews, who had been carried away captive into Babylon, had spread throughout all the eastern provinces. Bow before him! There were some in authority who hated the Jews, for they bowed to no man, but worshipped only their God, as did Mordecai. <laughs> My king, noble members of this court, the king relied on the counsel of his princes and wise men, for these were dangerous times. For his protection, it was decreed that no one, regardless of the person's position, should approach the king without invitation. They are disloyal to thy bidding and to the decrees of this court. They bow down only to their god and hold In the third year of his reign, Ahasuerus was advised to divorce Queen Vashti. After searching throughout all his kingdom in every province, he found a beautiful young woman and married her. And thus was the rise of Queen Esther. To an unseen and unproven god. What is it you would have done, Haman? If it please the king, let it be written that all the Jews may be destroyed. The king knew not that his new queen, Esther, was a Jew. To destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. After Mordecai read the decree and perceived all that was done, he rent his clothes and dressed in sackcloth to mourn with all the Jews. She's a very quiet child, not one to cause trouble. Hello, Esther. Now, you're Mordecai, her mother's closest kin. Her father's nephew. Esther is my cousin. The king's officers shall gather together all the fair young women in every province of the kingdom who are of perfect virtue and bring them unto the palace at Shushan. Each will be considered as to her worthiness to be presented to the king who will choose one to be his queen. Tada. Esther, time comes too quickly. I love you, Mordecai. You have been a good father to me. I will miss you. I will look for you often beyond the gate. And I will be there waiting. Behuna! Behuna! The husband! It may be wise. Keep your lineage a secret.
child. An evil abounds in the king's court. Haman hath won the king's heart and has offered a sum of money for the king's treasuries that he might destroy the Jews. Here is the decree that was given at Shishan to destroy us. For the good of thy father's house, I charge thee to go in unto the king and make supplication unto him for thy people. Mordecai, do you not realize the weight of thy request? All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces do know that whosoever shall come unto the king into the inner court who is not called will be put to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter. I have not been called to come in unto the king these thirty days. My queen, Mordecai giveth this message in return. If thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall thou and thy father's house be destroyed. What doth he mean, thy father's house? Is that all? No. He hath said also, who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Adonai, Elohei Israel, 
יושב הקרבים, חושי אינונה. Each will be considered as to her worthiness to be presented to the king. The time comes too quickly. I will watch for you often beyond the king. I present Queen Esther. I charge thee to go in unto the king. Do you not realize the weight of thy request? Who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom? For such a time as this. Time as this. Mordecai, go. Gather together all the Jews that are present in the city, and fast ye for me. And neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise. And so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. Counsel me. Stand together. Be united. Thank you. 